On this episode of the Hockey Garden Show, we talk Captain Canada, the six pack of Sutters, and Brassel. <laughs> this episode of the Hockey Card Show is brought to you by Ice Hot Hockey. Ice Hot Hockey is 100% hockey cards for the hardcore NHL fan. Log into the eBay homepage and search by store name using Ice Hot Hockey. At the end of the episode, we will highlight the featured card of the week, brought to you by Ice Hot Hockey. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's really cold. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. <laughs> oh, you're doing it. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Hockey Card Show. I'm Justin Kendrick. This is Darren. We like to call him Dink. That is a bet that I'm finally coming through on. Uh, Matty J on Twitter, MattyJ.com. We had a little bet with the Penguins and the Leafs from like way, like a month ago probably now. And I was supposed to do a funnel. I can't find my funnel. I have two. I couldn't freaking tell you where they are. So we decided I'm going to do a chug there and then I'll do a chug at the end. And apparently that's going to be the equivalent. Darren decided to crack a joke. Yeah, in the middle of one, so I'd go, but it didn't work. I spat and said right there. Oh, no spit take. So we are going to sit back, crack some packs, like we like to do, talk some hockey, and uh, see what's rolling. <clears throat> I have some uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice 1997 with Pat Rick Roy on the cover. And I'm also going to do a pack of the Upper Deck Legends Masterpiece. These are 08, 09. The beauties from last season. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I'm going uh, one middle with the moose. Okay. Well, I'm doing the. Uh, I'm giving in the game some more love. The 0708 between the pipes. So this is random tenders. Got to love it. And these are Fleer Hot Prospects 0708. So we're going back a couple of seasons. I'm getting rid of the salesman stuff. All right. I'll get it rolling while you crack them. Yeah, I'm not so hot with these masterpiece, but I know they're really cool cards, so I thought I'd go back to the well. Phil Esposito. With uh, Boston. You love Phil, don't you? I do like Phil. I don't Espo. Love, I don't like, love him, per se. No. But one of those great guys. Yeah, great guys. Had the record for goals in a season before Wayne broke. It was 76. Uh, was he the one in 72 that, with the big, like... Oh no, he, he, he points to him, he's like, that's fight? Is that him? What am I thinking of? Is that him? Mm. Possibly. Was he just talking now? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he wiped out, stepped on a piece of oh. his or whatever. Had a great series. Yeah. Um, and gave the inspirational speech in 72 about, you know, we're trying our best out here, guys. <laughs> you know, a lot of fans out there booing us and Poor. I'm sweating like a greasy native. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> Poor me. Great career. And obviously brothers of Tony. Yes. Um, <laughs> poor me, yes. That well, it's kind of like poor us. Yeah. Okay, my first card is um, rather humorous. This is a Between the Pipes stars of the games, Dan Cluche. <laughs> Dan Cluche is um, very popular in L.A. I bet. Um, so our L.A. fans will love to see this guy. Uh, Dan Cluche had a very promising career uh, cut short by the inability to stop the puck. <laughs> <laughs> kind of vital for a goaler, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> played in Sioux, then played in Guelph. Uh, I think he was a backup on one of the Canadian junior teams. Started with the Islanders. Uh, Tampa Bay maybe ended up in Vancouver and had a couple of good years in Vancouver and that Lindstrom goal from center. Pretty Ooh. much, pretty much, uh, well, they were up two games, too, man. It was up two games when Bertuzzi and, uh, was, could actually play. This was obviously before the incident. And, uh, Kluche could stop the puck then and, until the Lidstrom goal, and then obviously went over to LA and was a complete disaster. And Detroit gave him a, gave him a try this, uh, yep. this, um, fall, but, uh, They probably like him now. 
He didn't make the team. Howard the Duck and Osgood's not doing so hot. <laughs> <clears throat> you liked to fight too, if I remember. He did like to fight, yeah. I remember a junior. I, I think I mentioned before. I dated a girl from Guelph, and uh, um, Guelph or Ish? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he was playing Guelph uh, one year, and they played Bell in the playoffs, and and he called on the whole team, and then called on the whole um, Queen Sports Center. Jeez, yeah, he's a dick. I'm gonna flip flop. Kent Manderville. Uh, here with Hartford, one time with the Leafs. I don't know so much about him, though. I know... Oh, Chippy! <laughs> Chippy's back, guys! Oh, yeah, he's your Chippy. I forgot. Manderville, yeah. Uh, he was part of a Big Ten player deal, apparently, Chippy wants to tell me. He was. 1992. Yeah, he was part of the Gilmore trade. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, it came over, it came over uh, from Calgary in the Gilmore. With Gilmore. Sorry. Can I can name the other eight guys, but I'm not going to do it. Do it. No, don't do it. No, it'll take up time, and we're trying to keep it short. Anyways, sorry, I don't know much about Kent. I know Wait, is that what you, that's all Chippy said? Oh, yeah, Chippy says, exactly. Kent was part of the biggest trade in national history when Toronto and Calgary pulled off a 10-player deal in 92. Yeah. Obviously, his claim to fame. No. Pretty much. <laughs> anyway, okay, um, here we have uh, Between the Pipes, Greats of the Game, Tom Brasso. Um, <laughs> speaking of jerks, uh, Brasso had a great career, but uh, very well known to be a bit of a dick as well um, <laughs> with the media and pretty much anyone around him. Um, but he's got two cups with pens, uh, he's got a Calder. And a Vesna with the Sabres, uh, played for Leafs at one time, played for the Senators, played for... Played with himself. Oh, I'm flipping. This is a kind of a crazy card. It's the Sutters. Oh, I was just saying, what's with all the dudes? All six of them. Wow. So the Sutter brothers spread across all six different That's teams, cool. too. And, um... They seem to be all gathering in Calgary now. Brian, Brent, Dwayne, <laughs> Daryl, and the twins. <laughs> and the other brother. The, the, other the, lottery. Brother. the other brother won the lottery. Oh, Did geez. I say that? That's wild. Probably pissed off for years he didn't make it. But That's kind of crazy. He was the best one, didn't want to play. I know, uh, whatever, reading cards. But uh, the six brothers combined to win six Stanley Cups. In that hundred or thirteen hundred and twenty career goals, seven thousand two hundred twenty four penalty minutes. Jesus, that's pretty cool. That's a cool card. Yeah, it is pretty neat. But yeah, they're all uh, they seem to be Calgary in Calgary, and uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say that they're all in Calgary. Yeah, <laughs> that's where they're from, I believe. Yeah. So cool. Cool. Okay. Well. I